The policy has killed Americans. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. As we reported last night, 17-year-old Allison Coonhart and 16-year-old Tessa Troshant were killed by an illegal alien drunk driver in Virginia. The man, 22-year-old Alfredo Ramos from Mexico, had three previous alcohol-related convictions and also an identity theft conviction, but he had never been sentenced to prison. The incidents all took place in and around Virginia Beach, which is a sanctuary city. That means the authorities do not report criminal illegal aliens to the feds unless it's a drastic situation. Amazingly, the clueless mayor of Virginia Beach, Mayera Oberndorf, doesn't seem to know that police chief Alfred Jaycox is not informing the feds about illegal criminals. We were called, I believe, a sanctuary city, and I had not heard that before, but I can promise you neither I nor any member of the council has ever adopted any legislation to make this a sanctuary city but what we have done is we years ago set up a human rights commission so that all people will be given the opportunity to be heard, to be responded to, as we would any citizen. Ridiculous. Along with Mayor Oberndorf, Judge Cologne Whitehurst is also a villain. Even after a DUI conviction, he would not sentence Ramos to jail the second time around, putting him right back out on the street where he was able to kill the two girls. And the governor of Virginia, Timothy Kane, he doesn't seem to care much about policing illegal aliens. Now, last night, the father and sister of Allison Coonhart had the courage to speak with us just hours after Allison's funeral. Oh, Allie, um... Allie was full of life. Um, she was very sweet. She was very innocent. You try to reason why anything like this would ever happen to your your daughter because it's senseless. Uh, you start to think about what's wrong with our system, and it's it's not one thing. It's several things. It has to do with um, the uh, immigration laws not being um, followed correctly, or they're they're too slack. All right, Talking Point says enough's enough. President Bush should warn all the sanctuary cities, which we have listed on BillOReilly.com, that if they continue to disobey federal law, their law enforcement federal grants will be cut off. That should happen today, Mr. President. Secondly, the good people of Virginia Beach should immediately begin a recall process for Mayor Oberndorf. It is obvious she doesn't know what's going on. And by the way, the mayor has refused to come on the factor and was called a number of times despite her saying the opposite. She was called, we can prove it. And the bottom line on this is that all Americans have a right to protection from irresponsible people. The founders created government to provide that protection. But our governments generally have bowed to political correctness and are failing to protect us. We're going to make Virginia Beach the flashpoint in stopping the immigration madness. We hope astute media people like Kerry Doherty of the pilot down there will help us out. No more sanctuary cities period. And that's a memo. Now for Top Story Night, another view of this on the Fallon and Balance Network. Fox News correspondent Geraldo Rivera seen weekends at 8 p.m. Eastern. Thank goodness. Okay. Um, sanctuary cities. What do you think? I think you have the story almost exactly wrong, my friend. I, I think that we're talking about drunk driving. And, uh, you know, there were 347 drunk driving fatalities in the Commonwealth of Virginia in the year 2005. I think this may be the first drunk driving story we've done from Virginia. And the only reason it's, it's news on the factor is because the driver was an illegal alien. What right. if his name was Bubba? What if his name was Buddy? Not the what same if his story. name was Bobby? Not the it's same not the story. same story, but still, you know, my heart goes out to those those parents. I hope so. But it, really, it does. But there are 17,000 families that suffered the way those parents have. Yes. It's not an illegal alien story, Bill. It's a drunk driving story. And I think you well, owe that here, poor why you're lady wrong, because... mayor an apology. No. no. She doesn't enforce immigration she, policy. She has set up a system I, in her city, no, she knowingly, Bill, that says true. the police don't, don't chief. Feed the, don't, don't feed that. What's his name? Well, Lou Dobbs' mom. You, listen. You Lou listen Dobbs to has me, regenerated to his, his you, dead career all right. on the backs of illegal aliens. Well, Let's not go there. You listen to me. I'll the Minutemen are, are wearing Guns now on the border. You listen to me. I'll listen uh, to are you. Are they going to start shooting illegal aliens? When 
you uh, enter this country illegally, number one, you have no right to be here. No right. That's the truth. And number two, true. when you're caught committing a crime, as this man was four He was drunk times. in public twice. Oh, hold it. Four and one times. time he was a drunk driver he with no victims. Been, he should have been deported the first time, and he was not. And the reason he wasn't deported... Because he didn't commit a felony. It doesn't make any difference. And he didn't he commit a, mis a misdemeanor. A he didn't commit a misdemeanor uh, having to do with moral turpitude right, either. So let me get this straight. They, everyone just, followed the law. Just, you all, everyone had an apology from the governor no, to didn't. the mayor down. No, they didn't. Now, I just want to get this straight. You, Geraldo Rivera, with teenage daughters, right. are telling me that you are okay with a, somebody sneaking into the country, becoming drunk, Get convicted of a DUI and staying here. My, You're all right my with that. nightmare is my daughters having anything to okay do with a drunk. Let me finish my answer. My nightmare is my daughters having anything to do with a person driving drunk. That's my nightmare. Okay. It could be a Jewish drunk. It could be a Polish to drunk. Be here. It could be an Irish drunk. No. It could be an Italian drunk. American what the crime, hell difference does it, it make? It makes plenty of difference. It does not. He Bill, doesn't please. have a right to he be here. He didn't commit a felony. He, he doesn't, doesn't have, have a right to be in this country. What? But that has nothing to do with the yes, fact that he does. was a drunk. He should have been he deported. Was a drunk. What if, he, he should have been deported. The, and this mayor and the police chief didn't deport him. Listen. Do you know how many people we have in jail? How many of them are illegal aliens? Illegal aliens commit crimes at a lower rate than citizens do. This guy do. shouldn't have been here. Cool your jets. It has nothing to do with illegal aliens. It has to do with drunk driving. It does don't, don't obscure he a tragedy to make a cheap political if point. I'm the father. It is a cheap political no, point. No, it isn't. And you know This it. is justice. This has nothing to do with that poor old anarchy. mayor. You it has want, nothing to do no, with that mayor. You want anarchy. No. What you I want, want open border anarchy. What, I, what, what want. I want is fairness. We have lured fairness these people. Bull. We have lured these this is the we law. have lured these people oh, to this yeah. country with a promise Nobody of jobs is, this, in a country where there is basically full domestic employment. Right. We have for decades lured them here. This and now family, we're starting a mob scene. This you're gonna family have, you're gonna, you're, lured you no want one. your viewers to go knocking on people's door, door no, to door. Bull, Are you an bull. illegal? I'm going to take you outside and do I something I want the law enforced. History has seen what happens when you I single out people like that. I want the law enforced. And then you, you don't. They, uh, bill. You yeah, don't. But Congress, if they had the courage, the president of the United States, if you look at what he has to say, all want reasoned immigration reform. Then but to do take that. this tragedy in Virginia Beach and make it about illegal aliens it is, is a sin. That's a sin. Bull, this family lured no one. This family lost their daughter and so 347 the drunk There's driving fatalities in the Commonwealth of Virginia. We deal with do Americans. we care about them? We deal with Americans that way, and I deal with it all the time, and you know I do, with child predators and everything else. But I back you with that, because it's a reasoned approach. This it is singles reason. out the perpetrators you who don't have... Let these no, people wait, stay wait, here. I think, let's calm down. I'll give you the last okay. word. I, you don't a let child, these people A child stay predator here. is someone with a predilection to commit a, a, an offense against the juvenile. So you go, that, because of that cause and effect, you go after the person who's perpetrating the effect. There's no cause and effect between his illegality and his drunkenness. Sure there is. He's irresponsible. The Latinos aren't more drunk than other the people. Latino bull, it's about Ramos. It's not Latino. Right, I agree. And that's why right. if out. Ramos was Raminsky, would we care? We would certainly care. If when he was he broke in the law, he, uh, go, he gets the 17,000 fatalities drunk first time. Drive. All right. How much time do we have? <laughs> we have one minute. What are you doing on your show this weekend? <laughs> well, thank you very much for asking, though. <laughs> you know, seriously, I think that one of the wonderful things about our network is that we are fair and balanced. That that impassioned yeah, commentators... Yeah, people can decide whether you're right or, right. or I'm and right. And they can. And, and they, they will and decide they, that I'm right. <laughs> well, All right. Uh, maybe your viewers will and my viewers will, will judge it the other way. So we'll, you know, I, I think that there is, there is that, what that does is you often talk about uh, uh, political correctness and left-wing media, and I think that they do portray our network unfairly because they fail to represent that we are on different sides of the fence in this issue most passionately but many others as well. That's why we have so you on I every week. And I appreciate right. the chance. Okay. Geraldo Rivera, check him out 8 o'clock Saturday and Sunday in the Factor Slot.